Yo, what up everybody? Uh, we're going to be solving this triangle today, finding the missing sides and the missing angles. And you see we only have one angle, that's a right angle, we don't know the other two angles. So we're going to be busting out the inverse tangent in order to solve this, so you don't want to miss this. Uh, we're going to solve it in five minutes or less, less so stay tuned. Alright, so the first thing we notice is that there are no angles except for the 90 degree angle that we know. Alright, and so if we're going to use a sine and uh, cosine, we don't have an angle that we can use that with. Instead, we're going to go backwards and find the angle uh, from one of these trigonomic functions. To do this, we have to know two sides. And fortunately, we do know two sides. We know the uh, side adjacent to this angle, and we know the side opposite this angle. All right? on our little diagram here, that would be sides A and B. And so, is there a function here that has A and B in it? Yes, there is, all right, there's tangent. So now, tangent of this angle theta is equal to 20 over 40, right? And at home you might be saying, hey, let's simplify that to one over two. And you can do that and you get the same answer, but I'm just gonna keep it like this, uh, since I'm gonna put it all in the calculator uh, in the end anyways. Now, how do I find the theta? All right, the theta is an angle, right? And the way you find angles are inverse functions. All right, so I want to get the angle away from this tangent. And the only way to do that is to bring in the inverse of tangent. So I'm going to do that right here. So I'll bring in tangent minus one, right, which is um, sometimes known as inverse tangent or arc tangent. And it's a button on uh, pretty much any scientific or graphing calculator. And I'm going to put uh, tangent theta in, in parentheses there, but Remember, whatever I do to one side of an equation, I have to do to the other. And so we're going to have to put the right side of this equation in the inverse tangent uh, function as well. So when you write it out like this, now you, you can see that the tangent minus 1 and the tangent will, will cancel out. Right? But the, the part on the right side, of course, doesn't cancel out. But this is something that we can now put in a calculator. Right? And if you need help putting an inverse function in the calculator, uh, there's a video for that, and so just click, click the link to the video. We'll show you how to do that, but we're going to assume you know that already, and that if you did that, you would get 26.6 degrees. Now we know this uh, this angle. We know that this is 90 degrees. We could find the missing angle now, and uh, we can also find the missing side. So let's do the, the angle first. The easiest way to do this is to recognize that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, right? And we know two of them, we know the 26.6, and we know this right angle here is 90 degrees. Uh, we add those together, we get 116.6, plus this missing angle equals 180. And of course, you wanna subtract both sides by 116.6 uh, to, to get rid of that. And, and the right side becomes 63.4, which is our missing angle. Now for the side, uh, the missing side, we, we could do like some sine and cosine stuff, but uh, I'm going to skip that and just do the Pythagorean theorem, which is probably the simplest way to solve this. So remember, the, uh, you take the, the two smaller sides that are right angles to each other, square both of them and add them, and that should give you the hypotenuse squared. So we'll square both of them, All right, add them together. And then we want to know what this missing side is. Uh, so we're going to have to get rid of this squared sign. And we'll do that by taking the square root of it. But of course, we have to square root the other side as well. So you get square root of 2,000, which is 44.7. And that makes sense because this should be the longest side. Right? And 44.7 is longer than the other two sides. So there we go. We got everything you'd want to know about this triangle. And uh, if you need more help, uh, we have more videos of similar problems. Uh, and we'll see you there.